morning today i plan to paint the outside of the sh outdoor shower shed gonna do like a aboriginal aboriginal style piece <laughs> so this is the kind of paint that i got it is rust guard epoxy enamel top coat i got it in four colors this is golden yellow this black a really big one of marine blue and this one is flame red i googled a picture that i wanted to paint so that's why i chose these four colors try and do it on this kind of practice sheet of what the actual shed is made of i have a little cutout here that i'm going to try and paint vertically i just want to see that this paint that i got when i put it on that it's not going to drip down otherwise it'll kind of like ruin the piece so i'm gonna try practice on this there's quite a strong smell so the piece that i want to do it's kind of just made up of dots it says here um, stir thoroughly with a broad flat stirrer in a circular lifting motion for five minutes before use and at regular intervals. So I need something to stir this paint. I think if I put too much in one brush stroke, then it'll, obviously it'll drip. So I think I just have to be careful for that. But otherwise I think I'm pretty set. So I think I'm just going to get a ladder and I'll probably start from top to bottom. Because I only brought a few brushes to the farm, I'll probably do one colour, like I'll do the whole piece in the one colour and then I'll clean the brush and then I'll keep doing it in the other colours. That way I won't like mix between the two and I don't have to wash it that many times. <laughs> my beautiful shed. Don't wreck my shed. What do you mean? It's going to look it's better. Clean. So I'm going to use this to mix the paint. at the piece that I want to do. I don't know if you can see. But this is the this is the piece that I'm trying to do. Hopefully this is okay. If it doesn't go well, I'll probably just spray paint the side eventually then. Okay, so I've done my first circle. It's quite small. There it is. I'm going to keep building it up slowly. I've done the blue part and I just went to go get black. You can see, I'm quite happy with it at the moment, but it's far from finished. So stay tuned to figure out what it looks like. I'm going to use black to put it in between the blue dots that I've done already. Hey, this is what I've got right now. It's starting to drip a little, but I think after I do the red and the yellow, it'll look more cleaned up. Here's the black and the blue done. Fine. 
final product. So by the end of it, this brush was dying. It's just a cheap one I got from Bunnings. But if you can see, the hairs just pull out. So it's cheap for a reason, but tried my best filling in the last few parts of this brush, but I'm pretty sure if I pull this, all the hairs will come out. To the unsuspecting individual having a shower from the front, very ordinary, but from the side, it's a party. So it was raining all night and it's still drizzling a little bit now, but luckily I think it was at least dry enough not to drip. So here it is after a night full of rain. Still standing. Definitely does the job of brightening up the this area, which is what I intended it to be. So I'm very happy. I hope you enjoyed this artsy video and hopefully you liked the final piece.